What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. I was just doing a client customization and I figured out a good solution to a request that was made and I wanted to share it with you guys. So she is using an auto layout section set to banner slideshow for her first section on the page. And ordinarily banner slideshows have this scrolling effect where the slides just sort of scroll into view and there's no other setting that you can set, that's just how it is. And she was hoping that she could have the items fade instead of slide. And so I figured out a good solution to that and I kind of want to just walk you through my solution really quick. So I'm going to go to my custom CSS window and I'll locate the CSS that I wrote and then I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I have commented out the CSS and I'll just walk you through the setup that I did. So basically uh, the slides just sort of like toggle into view, they slide into view. If I right click on the section and then go to my Chrome inspect tools, we can see that these are all of the slides that make up the section. And we can kind of track the active item because it's translate 3D is set to 000. Whereas other items you can see are being scrolled out of the frame. So they'll have some sort of like negative value. So that's one way we can kind of like track the active item is this translate 3D of 000. Um, and so we don't want these to be moved on the X axis. We don't want them to be translated. So we have to make sure that they're all in frame. So we need to set all of the slides to zero translate 3D 000. So um, that's the first thing that I did here is I targeted my the slide element. So we're targeting all the slides in this section. Um, so I am limiting the CSS to this one section here. And I easily got the data section ID by just using my block identifier plugin, copied that data section ID, then pasted it into the custom CS, CSS window, and then opened up some curly brackets. And then I'm writing all of the CSS inside these curly brackets. And that means all of this CSS will only apply inside of this section. So this one section. So then I'm targeting the slide and I'm setting its transform translate 3D to 000, like we talked about. And the reason that you needed an important tag is because this is an inline style. So uh, the style is written directly into the HTML. And the only way to override an inline style is with an important tag. So if you ever see uh, styling up here in this first box, in this element.style box, that means it's an inline style. And if you want to override a property up here, you must use an important tag. So if I take away the important tag real quick, you'll see that our style is no longer applying. It's crossed out and the inline style is overriding it. So again, the only way to override that inline style, use an important tag. So now the Squarespace's style is crossed out and ours is applying. So that gets rid of sort of that like you know, sliding effect um, where it was sliding into view. Now all of them are just, you know, in view at all times, which is the first thing that we need. The next thing that I wanted to do was just make sure that all of them had an opacity of one, depending on the site-wide animation setting that you have, you know, it could be hiding the sections or, you know, applying some style. So we just want to make sure that all of the sections have an opacity of one. And then, um, I'm adding a transition here to make sure that when our slides, you know, fade into the next one, that it happens really smoothly. Otherwise it would just happen abruptly. And then the most important thing here is that I'm targeting the slides with an aria hidden of true and giving them an opacity of zero. So um, I was mentioning before how you can kind of track the active slide by its translate 3D of zero, zero, zero. Well, if the slide is not the active item, then it gets an aria hidden of true, meaning it's, you know, it's not the active item. So what we're doing is any slide that is not the active item, we're giving it an opacity of zero. And then the slide that is the active item, we're giving it an opacity of one, and then it's smoothly transitioning. So let me go ahead and toggle this on. So now we have that opacity of zero. And this is kind of illustrates the importance of the transition. So right now it'll just jump immediately you know, whichever one is not hidden, will just immediately go from zero to one. But we want it to happen smoothly so we can add a transition of, and it happens over one second. We're transitioning the opacity and then its style is linear. So, you know, the, the transition like curve, I guess you could say, 
um, is just you know a straight line. So that's how you get this kind of cool uh, you know fade effect rather than the, the default sliding effect. So hopefully that explanation made sense. I'm gonna start doing more of these like little tips and tricks as I'm working on sites and I come across something that I think will be is helpful to you guys. Um, I'm gonna just start sharing little snippets like this. So if you would be interested in seeing my future little customization videos like this, then consider subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.